Welcome to the CMO Spotlight. And today I'm so excited to have this conversation with Sharon Britton Paris, who is the Chief Marketing Officer for Cordance. People are not buying products, but they're buying, buying solutions to their problems and they're, they're buying it for a need to satisfy something that they have a, a need for. So it is not just the product, it is really the need that you're fulfilling. So talk to the need, don't, don't sell the product my gut. So I do notice energy shifts at a very visceral level. And I always can feel when something's not right. And then sometimes that shows up in marketing, right? Where I feel like, you know, whether the content or the copy or whatever it is, it's just not right or it's missing something. I just can't put my finger on it. But even with regard to people, just kind of feeling that energy shift uh, is, I would say, my superpower. And so I, I move accordingly. First and foremost, as a leader, I always think that empathy is a really important quality to carry and maintain as you're leading people, you're in charge of their careers in many instances, and at least while they're with you. And, you know, we're all trying to figure it out and trying to do our best. And I always say I, I want to make sure that I lead from a firm but empathetic perspective because obviously business still needs to get done but people have lives outside of work as well, and you want them to bring their whole selves with them. So I would say certainly empathy. I would also say authenticity. And I say that because, you know, it takes trust to build relationships. And I don't think you have trust without authenticity. So in order to create that psychological safety for people to speak to you, to talk to you, to convey whatever they're feeling, I think that you need a level of authenticity and trust that goes along with that. Certainly growth mindset in this world, outside of marketing, but particularly in, in the world of marketing where things are changing every single day, staying abreast of all the different things that are happening and different tools and just always uh, having that beginner's mindset to, uh, to learn something new and not being afraid to, to be the person that's trying to figure it out and trying to learn what it is. So that's something else I would say. And then I would say lastly, as a marketer, just being customer centric. When someone asks me about a flop, I always point to one in particular in that we were launching something. This is uh, back again, kind of in my earlier career days, but the example essentially is we were launching two products. One was in season, one was out of season. And the one that was out of season, of course, flopped. Uh, we were listening to a large big box retailer saying, oh, you got to do it. You got to do it. You, this is the time. And we knew it wasn't. At the same time, we were launching another product that was super, it was again, in season, uh, summer season, and it did gangbusters, doubled the business in a year. So again, going back to being very customer centric and understanding the drivers of what and how your customers purchase your product is really important and not deviating from that because it's convenient or makes sense for, you know, retailers or something like that. It just didn't make sense for the customer. Uncle Nearest Whiskey, I'm not a whiskey drinker. So Fawn Weaver is the CEO. She is a lightning bolt that is revolutionizing the whiskey industry. And she's telling this, the story of uh, an enslaved man, black man uh, named Nathan Nearest Green. And he essentially taught Jack Daniels how to make whiskey. 